And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bruce Kirk from the Gold Coast Media Team. And we are now showcasing the uh, Division 1 Ladies Pennant Final. And we've got a great match-up here of Broadbeach versus Tweed Hens. We've got Cheryl Heaps leading for Broadbeach with Serena Bennell. Uh, second, Karen Goldsworthy as the third. And Bolivia Millerick as the uh, skip for uh, Broady. Up against Tweed Heads, Di Cunnington, uh, Brenda Thompson, Kira Burke, there's third, and Jesse Cattell. And on uh, on rink, there, this is on rink f- uh, seven, on rink five, we've got uh, Kelsey Cotterell up against Lenny Clark, and on six, Julie Keegan up against Chloe Stewart. So there's a couple of good matches, but we've got uh, at the moment uh, we've they're on uh, end. Is this the third, is it, Robbie? I think it is the third end. The third end. Yeah, pretty sure it's the third end there. We uh, we missed it out. We've uh, still the first. Oh, that's good. I thought we'd missed a stack of it because of this... Uh, Putting up this canopy it, uh, with the wind blowing the way it was, uh, it nearly got lifted off the ground, and so we had to uh, tie it down, and uh, that causes a bit of concern. But uh, we're back on deck, and we're uh, and we're uh, got the first end here, and it would appear that uh, uh, Serena's uh, holding shot there, and uh, I think uh, that's Brenda's the. Uh, Second, and in comes Bolivia. Has she taken it for a bit of a dash? No. But it looks like it will be uh, just one to uh, to the Bulls, uh, Broadbeach, which was um, uh, Serena Bernal's bowl uh, holding shot there. Welcome on board, Fiona Hall, Jake McCutchinson, Corey Wedlock, Jim C and Jeffrey Watkins. And hi, Michael Fannigan from uh, from Cannon Hill. Welcome aboard. Uh, it's going to be a, a a great game. And what we've got, uh, we'll shout out for the uh, the the ladies' sponsors is Harcourts Coastal, Harmony Lawyers, and Golden Crest Manors Lifestyle Living at Its Best. They are the three major sponsors for the Gold Coast uh, Tweed Ladies Bowls Association. Hi, Mark Winter from Sunny Bagara. That's fantastic. We'll be... I uh, um, see Jimmy C's uh, just signed in. I don't know whether he's back home or if he's still down here. Uh, Robbie's just handed me the uh, support there for uh, the 2023 Gold Coast Tweed District Ladies Bowls Association Division 1 Pennant Grand Final Proudly supported by Golden Crest Manors, over 50s residential resort, lifestyle living at its best. Um, you've got Emma Jeffries from uh, Harcourt's uh, uh, Coastal. And you've got Harmony Lawyers, Janelle at Harmony Lawyers. I know Janelle. Um, I have used them. Uh, or clients of mine have used them. So, and Janelle does a wonderful job at Harmony Yeah, it's, uh, this wind is keeping up. We had to put a front cover on because uh, not only was the wind blowing us around, uh, the, the sun was coming in straight in from the west now or the uh, above us and uh, heading west and was cooking some of the equipment here. Just going around the back a little bit there, uh, Serena. And Robbie's going to go out and try and find me somewhere along the line eventually. We've got to get a co-commentator in. Now, uh, our previous one has inside having his uh, bite to each. And 
Damien McGee. He'll come back. He's just having a roll up. Oh, that's great. Yeah, fairly spread out uh, head, this one. Uh, on the mat is uh, Serena. Narrowed up a line a little bit, but uh, hopefully she'll... No, she's going to cut across the head, unfortunately. They're going to be copying this brief smack bang in their faces at this stage. Take a few ends to get used to it, but uh, just as they get used to it, uh, no doubt... It will change direction and strength. Yeah, good bowl there from Brenda. So Brenda holding shot there, and uh, we've now got uh, Karen Goldsworthy on the mat uh, from Brody. Just cutting across. Uh, as we said, this uh, this breeze is going to play havoc with them. Nick Carl watching us. Um, must be inside there uh, after the uh, Broad Beach win. Um, in the uh, men's di uh, Division 1 final over Burley. Broadbeach over Burley. And Nick, if you are uh, listening to us, just pop down and uh, come and say hello. We'll have a set of cans on your head real quick. Right, Karen's second bowl here. She's gone a little bit wider this time, which is uh, which is good. It's uh, she cut across the head last time. B's liking it, but it's just going to duck a l again. Brenda holding shot there, uh, and uh, Jesse just saying. Miss that front bowl and, and come around for a shot. Is she going to get underneath this? She doesn't want to clip. Oh, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> So Brenda holding shot there, and you've got the uh, black and white uh, bowl there on the left of screen of Karen Goldsworthy in, in second position. Kerry Cattell, uh, no doubt uh, cheering uh, Tweed uh, with, with Jesse skipping on this rank. Yeah, Trish, uh, not a bad lineup of skips when you've got Bolivia Millerick, Jesse Cattell. Lindsay Clark, Kelsey Cottrell, Chloe Stewart and Julie Keegan. So there's a few good bowlers there. A uh, who's who, yeah. So where's B pointing this? She's just going to duck across herself. Underneath there, Jesse. Yeah, good bowl. has got the run. Oh, great bowl, Jess. Yeah, that's uh, two shots for... Um, oh, might be just out of it, that other one. Uh, but no, I thought I've got that as, um, as Brenda Thompson's bowl, the one uh, sitting straight up the line, or just left of the line.
B's just gone a little bit wider, which, uh, see what her weight does. Yeah, she's got to get around this. She doesn't want to duck under that. Oh, she got it. Oh, great ball, Bolivia. And that brings her, uh, that'll be shot. But I'd say that um, Cheryl Heaps' bowl there, just near the number peg at the bottom of screen, will be holding, could be holding shot. So and definitely two for uh, for Brody. Correction here from Jess. No, she's just in. So the met uh, the mat to uh, Cheryl Heaps uh, for Broadbeach. Um, yeah, a couple of good bowls there, uh, a good save there from uh, from uh, Bolivia, and also the uh, that uh, light blue bowl of uh, of Cheryl Heaps in the back, and definitely two there to uh, to the Bulls. Over and you weren't there. <laughs> and Broly. Oh, great start from Cheryl. This one here. Oh, yeah. This one. Yeah. Oh no, uh, we've just got uh, the wind so uh, fierce today here at Broadbeach. We've got uh, umbrellas up as we normally do over the cameras, but unfortunately they we've had two blowdowns and one blown inside out, so unfortunately we've had to take them down and we may lose camera two and four a little bit later if they do heat up a bit, but uh, we'll, we'll just put them in the shade, cool them down a little bit and get them back out there. Vidler, how are you going? I'll just get Robbie to check that score on uh, on this rink on the scorecard outside, Robbie. It's three nil. Okay, yeah, yeah. I thought that I thought that they'd uh, they'd, they'd picked up. Uh, uh, where are we? There it is. One to B. Yeah. And uh, yeah, B did pick up the uh, that, that last end. Now there's a couple of good bowls while I was uh, filling around with some uh, some score sheets there. We've got uh, Cheryl holding shot, I would say, but we've uh, also got uh, Serena's bowl in there. A little bit of weight's going to mess up this a little, somewhat. Oh, another great bowl. That was from uh, from Brenda.
Oh, Serena's bowl just going around the back a little bit. Oh, and into the ditch. Has Brenda got the white? She's uh, got to be careful here. So it would appear that Cheryl, uh, the uh, aqua coloured bowl, is holding shot. And uh, Serena's bowl would be second. So two shots currently to Brody. Did it stay up? I can't see. Yes, it must have. We can't see the uh, this end live. Uh, we've had to put a, a sheet up in front of us to stop the heat and the, the wind coming in. The sun, yeah, from getting onto the equipment and cooking it. Oh, split them out. Oh... Yeah, that's one out, and uh, so that's uh, Cheryl's bowl still holding the shot, and uh, from uh, from dies the pink one on the left hand side, second spot. No, it just ran out of legs at uh, about 10 feet out. And good call by Jess. We're down one, but we've got two seconds. And the look of that, she'd have the third also, uh, the fourth. So... Uh, Get that shot bowl out. She still may be able to. Uh, here's Kira going across. Oh, unfortunate. She's what she's trying to do there. She she can take that uh, onto that bowl of uh, of Cheryl's. It may still take out Di's bowl, but they would possibly sit there for uh, for two shots with uh, with uh, uh, Brenda Thompson's bowls, the uh, purpley black coloured ones there. Hi, Barry Gilbert. I just saw you inside there working feverishly, doing your work down here at uh, Broadie. Bowl tracking well. Coming around. Has it got the weight? So just got to get under. Oh, come on, King B. Well, Queen B, I should say. Yeah, well, let's uh, put a kibosh somewhat there. But uh, she could play onto uh, B's bowl and uh, perhaps take all those, uh, uh, the pink and the uh, aqua bowl out. Yeah, Jesse. Uh, sorry, Kira, calling that. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, be just asking her third, do it again, and she said yes, please. It was a great bowl. Just felt. Probably a foot short, but it was a ended up in a great home. Looks like it's running out of steam and crossing. 
That's unfortunate. It's just difficult for them. They've, if they hit Bolivia's bowl, hopefully it would um, jump onto Cheryl and also that uh, bowl there of uh, of Serena's. Uh, sorry, of, of Dye's, because it would go if the other one went. But they've got Brenda Thompson's bowls on the right-hand side there. So let's we'll see what Jess is going to do. Yeah, aiming up on the backhand. She's swinging. Oh, unlucky. Is that Nick? No, that's fine. Ah, I just saw... Uh, I just saw Nick Carl said hello on stream there, so I knew he was here somewhere, and he just happened to dawdle past. So... Uh, we seconded him to come in here. And he's live. Welcome aboard, Nick. Thanks, mate. How are you? Oh, fight and fit. Fight Very and fit. good. Hardest thing you can do in commentary is sit by yourself and talk to yourself. Talk to yourself, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's always good to have a, a co-commentator. Congratulations on the uh, on the uh, the win. Yeah, early thank in the you. day. Yeah, pretty special. First yeah. time, first time for me personally. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's been a couple of years for the Bulls, but yeah. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty good day for the club. We yeah. had uh, division two up too. Yeah, we had five teams playing finals today. We got our division twos up, our threes just down, and then our div six got up, and I think seven just got beaten too. Oh, so. okay. Well, congratulations, we got, Brody. We got two lady sides, our only two lady sides playing the finals here today. So very impressive. Oh, good stuff. So Barry Gilbert will have no doubt crack a smile at some stage during the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we hope he will anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Very windy out there. It's. Oh, uh, yeah. I just put a photo up, a video up on my Facebook. I got attacked by chairs in the middle of that game. I was halfway yeah. down the green and all the chairs blew out. Well, the three side. chairs came across. I actually thought that one of the chairs had gone in the middle of the uh, rink six head. Yeah, yeah. Um, where uh, Aaron was playing. Yes. I thought it had landed in there, but uh, the boys said it landed on the back of the chair... And actually bounced out without touching a pole. Yeah, right, OK. <laughs> How un <laughs> Very lucky, actually. Yeah. Overall, Brody here, 8-6 over yeah. Tweed. Uh, Bolivia's away to a good start. Four zip over uh, Jesse. But then you've got uh, uh, Julie Keegan down 3-2 uh, to, uh, to Chloe. And uh, Lindsay up 3-2 over Kelsey. That'll be a cracker of a match there. Yeah, well, uh, a little well, bit of a loose head here from the girls. There's uh, plenty of opportunity for someone to jump on here and take control of the head here. Yeah, um, the second end um, was similar. Uh, they were all over the shop. And then uh, the third and the and the uh, skips closed, closed in on it. But they're... The, uh, 
uh, leads and seconds. But that, I mean, it, it's not hard to get ahead like that, especially when the, the wind's blowing. Yeah. And it must be disconcerting, all this breeze whacking you in the face. It's a little bit different today as well. Traditionally, playing north-south on this green here at Broadbeach, the, uh, the left-hand side um, that the direction the girls are playing in now is mm-hmm. generally the tighter side. Um, and the right side's usually the wider side, but mm. it's the complete opposite today with the wind. We oh. found we found that quite tricky to adjust to, actually. Yeah, well, the breeze we've got down the bottom down here, 24 kilos holding this corner post of the um, of our little shed here, our tent, and it lifted, and there was a bloke who just happened to be standing outside who caught it, and it lifted about two foot in the air. Yeah. And that was that was that big gust of wind that uh, that came through and uh, surprised us all. Alan Howard, Kevin Chan, Tony Donder, Greg Bostock, welcome aboard. Michael Bretherton, Cole Hayes. Jeez, everyone's watching. Any... Lucky enough to have a few games with Cole throughout the year, throughout the uh, the pennant season. All right, came yep. up and filled in when Best was over at the Commonwealth Games. Mm-hmm. All right, yep. So you've got your uh, five-a-side commencing here tomorrow? We do. We're really yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah. It's going to be a, uh, a great event, $70,000 prize money. There's yep. 14 rounds of uh, 26 teams, and then the top six will play off for the big money on Thursday and Friday. On Thursday and Friday, yeah. Yep. But, uh, yeah, I was talking to, uh, to Barry. He's, he's looking forward to it. Uh, uh, we're live streaming the other event. Um, out at Helen's Vale, but uh, and uh, yeah, both events are going to be. I mean, you have a look at the array of bowlers that have come up for both events. They're amazing. There's Absolutely. some really cracker teams there. Just trying to get something up for you here, which I spent some time doing up. So this is just a, a little stats on who's going to be appearing at the Broad Beach Five Side. Mm-hmm. So you've got 14 all-time Australian players. Right. So 14 of the players here have played for Australia. Mm-hmm. 14 are current international players. Right. you got eight world champions, mm-hmm. 31 Australian champions. Amongst the players, there's three Commonwealth Games gold medals. <laughs> there's 17 world gold medals, 73 Australian gold medals. And amongst the 14 Australian players, there's 1,701 caps for Australia. Oh, gee whiz. Now, if that doesn't... <laughs> if that doesn't Surprise anyone? Yeah, that's, that'll whet their appetite that is to, uh, awesome. to to pop down and have a have a look. Uh, um, yeah, I, we're in a, in a, a position where we've got to be non-partisan, and uh, uh, because we've got two going on at once, we can't be seen to be supporting one or the other yep. because we're an independent uh, body, uh, the media team. But when you talk stats like that, unbelievable! It is very uh, impressive. So it looks like, uh, well, it looks like Tweed could be holding a couple here. Bolivia's got a fair bit of room, though. Yeah, that's uh, that, that, the cures there. Yeah. Yep. She's playing the tighter side, so she might get a bit of uh, hang. It's well, all down holding at pace this time. now. Well, the breeze is, you see, the, the breeze is finally taking a bit of a stop and oh, just running through. Could be second. Yeah, probably second to um, to that black bowler, Brenda Thompson's out on the right. But I, I don't think this is the end head. This is not going to be the end of it. Jess has caught a high line here. Just got that yeah. gust of breeze. She's still bending. Yeah, it's coming in because she got the she weight to come it. through. No. Well, basically, um, well, Karen's going to say to Bolivia is play that same bowl. You only went past probably a metre and a bit. They always say that the the head's like this where you've got a fair bit of room. Oh, thank you very much uh, to to the gentleman in front of our camera. Yeah, he liked well, it. He clapped it, so it must he be good. He clapped it, and unfortunately we couldn't see it. So yeah, it's one to B there. And uh, thank you to the gentleman in the white waistcoat who uh, stood smack bang in front of our camera just as she delivered. He clapped the bowl, and now he's walking to the car park to leave. <laughs> he could have gone to the car park to leave first. 
Never mind. Okay, Jess. Uh, probably same bowl as uh, yeah as B's there. Yeah, doesn't really have anything else on the yeah. forehand's blocked for us. So. Oh yeah, yep. It's, uh, I think the one thing the players have to accept today is that it's going to be difficult. You're not going to play oh, perfect right. bowls every end, particularly today. So she lagged out a little bit high again. If she get around it, that will be a great bowl. Oh, she has oh, to if she gets down. Is it going to fall? No. Perfect speed Having a look for the at shot. It. Yeah, wonderful beach. Yeah, yeah, good bowl by there by B. Well done. A little bit of inside knowledge too. The Broad Beach girls have already played the Tweed uh, side twice this year. Right. And have been unsuccessful. Tweed heads have been victorious on both occasions. So they've decided to completely swap around the whole team for today's game. Oh, really? Oh, OK. Just wanted to try that, something new. That was interesting in the, um, the Div 2 game. 58 all after 63 ends, and they each played a... Um, one end shootout. Uh, yeah, one end shootout, and... Uh, uh, Brody got uh, four shots on between two, and Helen's Vale only had to, if he could sit a bowl and push it out and sit, he could have got the four to match it, and he just missed. It was an absolute cracker of a game, or that last end. And, you don't uh, see draws in panic games too no, often. No, very rare. And uh, even in the Premier League uh, games, it's very rare that you're going to have. Um, I think I can only remember one draw, uh, and which I'd, I'd have to check to see whether we do a shootout in Premier League. I think we do, actually. Uh, I no, think, we don't. I no. think sectional game or round-robin games, it would be considered a draw. But yeah, yeah come finals right. and you've got to decide a winner. Mm. An interesting one for the five-a-side, actually, starting this week, and I think Helen's Vale is, is probably the same. Yep. In the knockouts, if it's a... Um, Obviously, you play your four disciplines in each of the knockout games, and if it's two wins all and you've got the same margin, yes, that everybody goes out and plays a one-end singles game against one of the other five players from the other oh, team. Okay, yep, yep, and yep. it's whoever wins three of the five rinks. Or oh, I could be wrong there; it could be overall shots, but mm -hmm. a little one-end uh, singles shootout for everybody. Interesting that. Good shot here from Di. Di, yeah, just, just running past somewhat. Yep. One of the most lovely ladies you could meet. Di in, Cunnington, uh, in she, if she's not playing bowls here, she'll be on here saying hi. She always true. says hello to us. Very true. First she, person always comment on a yeah. Facebook oh, post of mine. She's a yeah, very lovely lady. Yeah, yeah. synonymous with uh, bowls up here. That also, uh, same with Brenda Thompson. Brenda's here uh, playing. Julie Keegan's just wrecked on the front next door. Looks like Tweed are probably holding two over there. It could be more, actually. Uh, I saw a message here. Could you advise uh, Julie and Chloe's teams and Kelsey and Lindsay's teams? Yes, I can. I have them here. And uh, there's, uh, they're not shabby teams either. You've got uh, Kelsey has got Val Jackson, Adele Pershouse. Bronwyn Stevens and Kelsey uh, is um, skipping, along with, uh, uh, I think it was Carol Fair, Gail Crompton, Claire Turley and Lindsay Clark skipping for, uh, for Tweed. I think you might be right. And then the other game, you've got Lynn Cuthbertson leading, Anne McClure is second, Serena Matthews is third with Julie Keegan. Then Janice Parks, Emma Boyd, Jess, who I cannot pronounce her surname. See some way bay. See some way bay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, that's what she told me anyway. Okay. So if I messed Fantastic. that up, it's not my fault. And Chloe Stewart is the. Oh, uh, skip. Julie Keegan's got a massive result there. She's two or three down, and she's sort of fumbled up off the front and got the shot. Oh, she's tickled that over there. Shot too, there man. from uh, Brenda. To Serena's bowl. Very talented player, Bolivia Millerick. She's oh, yeah. a, a great leader. She's always positive. Mm -hmm. Very good uh, 
conversion player as well. She loves the big shots. Oh, yeah. Yep. I had, uh, I had Sister Cass uh, uh, on broadcast with me down at uh, Tweet Heads the other day. Yeah. They're a lovely girl too. Yeah, she is. Both are lovely. And then uh, sitting beside me whilst uh, Cass was doing the call was Dad. Frank. Frankie yes. on the right-hand side. Yep. Uh, cheering on uh, uh, Bolivia. Uh, Cass commentating and uh, and Frankie giving all the cheering under the sun. Uh, Kira's oh, very she, close. Kira through. That's a great shot. Yeah, she stayed with it, I believe. Yeah, has it fallen down? Amazing achievement for Kira during the week too with her uh, Golden Nugget debut. Yes, yeah, she did really well. Topping her section and making the semi-finals. Yeah, uh, I had uh, Kira uh, in commentary also. She yes. called up to uh, Wayne, uh, secured her to come up and have a chat to me. She was uh, a little bit nervous, but she was uh, she's she darling to talk to. Really great. Uh, great uh, heads. Oh, on the well, let's push that back over now to. Um, to Kira's bowl. It's probably made it a bit worse for Broadbeach there too. The the target's not big and the jack's off line, so yeah. it's, in these conditions it's not a super easy one to get to. And the, uh, the backhand's kind of blocked with the Short bowl up the front there from Karen. Mm. All start Kira's, to turn. Kira's got to get down. No, it's, it's, oh, it's another pretty good shot. Now it's the skips. I think Bolivia will probably just try and pick the gap between the two red ones and draw the shot here. She can't uh, afford to attack and remove the uh, second shot of Broadbeach as the red one. I didn't think I was going to be here today this afternoon for the ladies uh, and only halfway through the men's. I uh, had a family uh, uh, get together with a number of people but my eldest boy came over last night and then my wife texted me during the, to say that uh, my eldest grandson's crook so they won't be coming up at lunch today so I've got to leave past to sit here with Robbie all day. How lucky am I? Very lucky. <laughs> Sure, Robbie's a lucky man too. <laughs> yeah. The worst part about that is we've got to pull all this down. Yeah. Uh, Where are you off to next after here? Uh, Helensvale tomorrow. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's Great shot from Jess. She's uh, oh, easily yep. second shot now. It's very well played. Still problems here for Bolivia. She can't attack. Yeah, it's difficult for her to get between those... Uh, she either wants to finish around that uh, left-hand uh, red bowl or... Oh, no, she's putting a little... No, it looks like she's going to come around that, hopefully. She's got good weight. It's probably a good yeah. line out there. Just don't know if she's got the run. No, no, no. Just dying off. Great effort. Uh, Helen Dunn watching from Wodonga. And oh, Mike Watts. Hi, mate. Um, um, he's from... Abbas with in Wales. Jess has got to play the same bowl here. If, if she does pinch her grass a little bit, she can actually draw a toucher under Karen's bowl, which is around it. Yeah, yep. Oh, this is pretty impressive if she draws another here. Round you come, round. In these conditions. Uh, I'd say that that will probably fall in. One, two. Oh, they've three. taken three out. Three out, Could be yeah. for four. Now that's uh, Serena's bowl there. Um, so they'll go to Serena first and see if there's anything inside Serena's. They've got Dye's bowl. Ooh, oh, well, close. Looks like it might be. This is a big count for Tweed Heads. This will be a good confidence booster. They're yet mm. to get on the board and they're going to start off with a four by the looks of it.
Okay, so she's got the measure down to what got the nice touch on it. Don't stand there. No, I couldn't see their hand down there. Well, I fancied that bowl um, um, of uh, Serena they measured too, because... Um, oh, sorry, yeah, but Serena's... Not Serena's bowl, the uh, pink bowl of dyes. But we'll soon see what goes up on the board. So what's it gone to on the end there, Robbie? It was a four, was it? Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's a handy one. Uh, a great pick up there. A good confidence booster because, uh, you know, as you said, uh, Nick, they would, you know, five zip. And uh, it's a nice, respectable score at five four. Yeah, well, particularly for Jess as well. I mean, she's, she's drawn two shots to, you know, double the count there. Oh, so, die. Great, start <laughs> great die. bowl. There'll be plenty outside that in these conditions. Yeah, I wonder how many times Dye's done that in a career. <laughs> Started off with the bowl that close, Julie if not Keegan's, closer. Julie Keegan's drawn the shot next door. I think it's only one to Broadbeach there. Chloe's still got a bowl for play. Did Julie move down this way, did she? Uh, was, I'm she honestly was with, not too sure. I think she was playing with up the Sunshine Coast there at one stage. Yeah, she was with Kiwana. But Kiwana, yeah. Back at uh, the Bulls now. Just needed to reach the jack there, Die. Anything yeah. past is helping. Jamie Dixon. Hi, Jamie, from uh, out at Laidley. Oh, good bowl here from yeah, Cheryl. Good reply. Very good uh, second Good throw. reply. Danny Supple. Brenda just losing her weight there. Good grass line. Yeah, same thing. Just yeah. needed to pass the jack there. Mm. Can become quite awkward when you've got bowls up the front. There's another chair going, I would say. Either that or it was Robbie. Flying through the air. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be nasty like that. He went out to check an umbrella there before. We, I said, before you go, put some counterweights around your waist. Brenda oh. needs to reach with this bowl. The tweed yeah. girls haven't got anything past the jack. They've got a good shot there, but. Oh, this is on a good line. Oh, she's ducking under two. Still okay. She's got third shot with it. Yeah. Sylvia, yeah, of Norfolk in the UK. Yeah, it's supposed to be getting a bit cold up there. We've uh, we've started our spring as up two days ago, three days ago. Really messed up my watch. I'm now on Monday the 5th. Something happened to it down at... Uh... We're just taking our time here.
Then again, as long as it shows me the time, uh, because uh, now that I'm retired, I don't need to know the date. Oh, it's helped a lot. Oh, is it? It's finished up in a great home. Very good result there. Not too sure if it's inside that bowl of um, of Cheryl's. I don't think so. Could be. Probably Beach really need another bowl in the head here. There's, oh, yeah. They've only got one in there, and it is quite vulnerable. Beautiful stroke there from Kira. She gets the bowl away. Oh, yeah. Yep. Beautifully every time. That's a pretty good spot. It's a bit more of a better intent on this one. Just trying to draw another shot, full draw. This is going to help a lot. It's not a bad shot. That's one I look at the moment to tweed. Nice shot on the forehand here for Jess Cattell. If she wants to try and trail a jack around the corner, she can make a three or four. Yeah, if she could get through to there, and because uh, she's got uh, Akira's two bowls, and uh, and there is an opening there for her to come through uh, left of left of screen down her. Uh, down here, open hand. Serena Matthews has played a bomb next door. This is the wide hand, so I should see this turn away pretty quickly. Mm. Um, any scores on the Division X ladies? I'm. Is that them playing? On the same green here, or uh, from here, it looks like it's sixteen fourteen in favour of Broadbeach after seventeen ends. Okay, sixteen fourteen in favour of Broadbeach. Okay, who are Broadie playing over there? Uh, uh, it's a composite team, so I think there's a few ladies from Paradise Point, Paradise Point, yep. Mermaid Beach. Yeah, it's a bit of a mix and match team. Mm. Uh, that's just a touch, touch quick there, if anything. Oh, Robbie, this this wind is getting worse and worse, as they say. At least the uh, cloud cover's still around, which is not too bad because, uh, oh no, sun's coming out again. Robbie's just a little bit worried about cooking the the heat of the cameras there on two and four. Be interesting to see what Bolivia plays here. If she's got, if she's two down, she's got two thirds. She might just opt to hit this head. Hit the head, yeah. Well, she'll hit. Um, might sacrifice uh, Cheryl's bowl, but she could uh, pick it up with uh, Karen's bowl on the left-hand side there. Bit of movement there behind the rink. Mm. I'll be interested to see what she plays here. If she is two down, I think the right shot is to probably attack, try mm -hmm. and kill the end, or there is a chance she can maybe wipe the two bowls out. It's probably easier just going direct rather than playing the, the soft swinging weight in these conditions. Oh, yeah, go direct. Even if you clean out those three bowls that are around the jack, she's holding on the left-hand side there um, uh, Karen Goldsworthy's bowl would would then come into play. She's got the two best back as well. If she gets yes. the jack right through. Yep. Yeah, she's playing fairly firm. Oh, something's going to happen. Oh, took everything out and we've There's left her with... Uh, no change. Oh, no. there is change, sorry. Yeah, one, die. One die Cunningham. Another one there to the Tweed girls. Very quickly from 5-0 down 
two ends later, they're back to five all. Five all, yes. Chloe Stewart's just got the edge over Julie Keegan at the moment, 5-3, and Kelsey just over Lindsay Clark at 7-3 at the moment. Not too bad when you look at that rink over there. You've got Claire Turley, Lindsay Clark, <laughs> yeah. Kelsey Cockrell all on the one rink. We, uh, we just went through the, uh, the teams before. Um, which one was it? No, it's the middle one here. Yeah, uh, Gail Crompton, Claire Turley, Lindsay Clark. You've got Adele Pershouse now. I saw her play just recently in something at, uh, up at Musgrove, I'm sure. Uh, Kelsey Cottrell, uh, you know, just, yeah. Adele's a, a newly announced state over 60s uh, skip in the women's side. Who's that? Adele. Adele, is she? Oh, okay, yep. Uh, yeah, yep. good shot from Cheryl. Yeah. Well done, Cheryl. Start to turn there, die. She's got good weight again. Yep, yep. Just a line. Robbie, was that Brian that rang before? How did they go? They won the pen. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, two good shots there from Cheryl Heaps, both in the game. Under Broad Beach at the moment here. Serena, a little bit of room to add a count up. I'll, uh, at the changeover of uh, this end, I'll, I'll, Robbie's just enlightened me with the total scores on divisions one through to seven in the men's pennants, and uh, we'll concentrate on this end with the ladies for, before we get into those. And uh, yeah, Cheryl still holding shot there from when I went off air. You'll find that most of the players will be uh, heavier coming this way. It is uh, downwind down this way. Mm. 
and back into the breeze the opposite direction. So you'll see more bowls past the jack this direction. Still a fair bit of room here for Karen Goldsworthy to add a counter and put a bit of pressure on here. And she's, looks like she's played this well. Uh, has it? Yeah, may have reached, may be looking out there. Um, yeah, you've got uh, Cheryl Heaps holding shot, and I would say that perhaps that last ball of Karen Goldsworthy may be second uh, inside uh, dies. Not right on the sure. Right on the centre line too, yeah. so it mustn't look pretty from the mat. No. We've just given those. Yep. Yeah, sixteen fourteen to Bra uh, to Broadbeach. Probably won't be too bad a line out there from Jess. Just depends if she's got the run. Yeah, it's coming in. Yeah, that's it. The maid hit. Uh. All right, B, start to turn in. Same thing, just not enough pace. No, no. So Jess has just got to add a foot of weight. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Clinton Bailey has put here, is there any of these Brody girls playing a Brody five aside? Would have thought they would have got a few, would, a few would have got a game before Nick. <laughs> That's a typical Clinton Bailey comment. <laughs> That's a great shot from uh, Jesse there. Well done, Jess, yes. I suppose I could say the same thing back to Clinton. I thought that most of the girls would have got a game before him at the Helens Vale <laughs> five side too. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> they must be all unavailable. <laughs> Any available. <laughs> Long time Broadbeach girl there, Gail Whitey. Yeah. Oh, B's just snapped that oh, one. Oh, snapped it across. So one to Jess. Another good shot from Jess. Yeah. Another head she's turned over. Up. Uh, yes, Jamie, too true. Uh, we have put some barricades up, uh, but we can't stop the pedestrian traffic in front and across the screen. We've stopped them from walking down the stairs onto our cameras. Jess was available. <laughs> Probably see another shorter length here from Dye. Been going good on these shorter lengths. They certainly are. Some pretty good leading going on next door from Janice Parks. Jesse's Nan's watching from Lake Cathy. Lake Cat Eye. Oh, oh Cat Eye, is it? Yeah. Okay. I'd wear glasses if I needed them. You and me both. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stay with us. Yeah, Jamie, they did at the Australian Open, but we're not at the Australian Open, unfortunately, and uh, we don't do that Australian Open. That's Bowls Australia, um, and they're a different organisation. To They can do what... Uh, put barriers up. 
But they were on also on different greens to what we've, we've been allocated here too. Nice bowl, Cheryl, just behind, a little bit behind. Just got a run and touch here from Brenda. It's going to be the shot. Not too bad, probably 18 inches or so. All right, so this I'll have to put my uh, glasses on to read. Uh, Division 1, Broadbeach 73, defeated Burley 51. Division 2, Broadbeach 64, defeated Helensvale 58. Division 3, Mermaid Beach 67, defeated Broadbeach 57, 60 to 57. Division 4, Tweed Heads 54, uh, up against uh, Benoa at 51. Now, Division 5, Green, uh, Bow Desert 65, defeated Tweed 49. That was uh, Brian Marshall, our illustrious leaders team. Um, 5, Brown, Helensvale 59. Um, Musgrave Hill 44 Division 6 Gold Broadbeach 61 Defeated Burley Heads 52 Division 6 Maroon Sorry, I'm a Queenslander Maroon uh, Helensvale 57 Burley Heads 48 And Division 7 Paradise Point A 55 um, Defeated Burley uh, Oh, was that Broadbeach? Um Beach, 39. So that's the uh, the scores in one to, to seven, right across the board there for uh, for the division playoffs for pennants. Pretty good head building here for the girls. Uh, Brenda Thompson playing two great shots, just leapfrogging with her second one and nearly drawing a side toucher, and then a great shot from Serena there. Pretty close. MD Soroff. You got it gone? Okay, mate. Oh. Karen just looking to land the shot bowl here. Yeah. Oh, she's not oh, oh, very take, well. What a shot. I'll take both, she says, and that'll give us the... Yeah. She's made two out of that. Yeah. Big shot. Yeah, Serena's bowl there on the right of screen. That's uh, the second shot. Is Kira going to get back from there? Oh, coming in, She's Kira. Got a pace on it. Oh, not no. Go for it. No. Yeah, balls holding two. Um. Can Karen get another one in there? She's probably just got to rest that bowl of uh, of uh, Serena's. Oh, you don't want to take it for a march. Oh, fell out. Oh, that's all right. Back to one. Um, Runner on the next ring from Chloe. She's one down, looking to take the bowl out. And she got it too. Great shot from Chloe Stewart. She might have made 
two, possibly that. <laughs> Lynn, oh, I'm not too sure. Brian Ledwell, he said he would have beaten Robbie hands down. <laughs> You've seen him lead? Oh, sit and fall. And no, bad luck, B. to come Jess oh this is a great bowl is it going to sit uh, possibly did it fall in so I think that um, Karen Goldsworthy there signalled uh, one and I think it, it may be on uh, on the back of um, I don't know which one she would be probably that uh, probably the black and white one of uh, of her bowl probably From inside that, that. It looks like turns yeah. bees in the area here yeah. just has to stop or take a seat on something yeah oh, there's a hole there <laughs> oh dear 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 yeah, so it was. It was um, Karen's uh, bowl, the black and white ring bowl, that held shot. Well, here we go. Let's put something to the viewers. What do you think the score is going to be overall at the end? <laughs> Close. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were a third of the way through and 17-16 overall. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to know all the results for the ladies' divisions. Well, we haven't got them. Um, No, the, you'd have to contact the your ladies and ask them if they could get them to us. We'll certainly read them out. Um, but some are still being played. Uh, so, uh, But if the ladies, anyone in the ladies has the results, by all means bring them to us and we will certainly read them out for you. Perfect weight from Cheryl. <laughs> Is, oh, I'll save that, Lynn, because Robbie's just gone out to check a camera and uh, I want him to hear that, uh, what you've just put in there. Robbie, there's a message here from Lynn Jaffrey. She says, uh, Brian's rink got a seven and the only one not in there was Brian's. <laughs> Uh, he liked that, Lynn. <laughs> he was very, very happy with that. Oh, great bowl there. Yeah, well done, uh, yeah, nice uh, Cheryl. Yeah. Fair weight again. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, well, obviously a tactical bowl that he's put there uh, to uh, just in case they uh, the jack goes back. Or I don't know where the bowl was. Could have gone forward. Hi, Cliff uh, from Boonaroo. Uh Ron, we read the teams out before. Um, I get a chance. I'll, uh, I'll I'll grab my cheat sheet and I'll, uh, I'll I'll read them out again for you. Red is just going to get stuck out there by the looks of it. 
Oh, it's coming hard now. Just into the park. Still plenty of room to draw the shot. Serena, we're looking to just lose a metre or so. few grey clouds looming around out there. Mm. They seem to be going past us pretty quick. Cliff up at Boonaroo there, ain't Obviously, uh, from where you are there, I see you on the Great Sandy uh, Strait there uh, between the island and the mainland uh, there. Um, no doubt, good fishing, I presume. Oh, just going to fall in now. Start to turn, and it's going a little bit of weight through the head there. Yeah, just touch too quick. Still nothing wrong with finishing pass. Just, just calling Kira to turn up any of the tweed bowls or just under draws the shot. Yeah, either one needs uh, just a rollover and uh, one one bowl and. Uh, and it's in there. She's got it out well. She's on a good line. Yeah, she may not need that. Oh, is it? Just a touch too quick. Yes. Bit stiff to cut the jack there and not go with it. Well, where it landed, that'll be second shot. Um, but uh, um, unfortunately, uh, Cheryl Spoll's holding shot there uh, straight up the line there in front of Jack. a pretty good shot here from Karen. Should oh. stop to count now. She's played that well. Yep. Very good shot. Good guide for Kira though. She plays the exact same bowl. Should be pretty stiff to find the gap either side of the jack. Oh, that's right. Well, looking at that angle, there is a bit of a gap there, but should still be pretty stiff. She's chasing it. She's either... Maybe a little glance off the front. Glance and shot. hit that. Yeah, and well, played. Well, well done, Kira. Perfect shot. Good ball. Again, there's really only two options here for Bolivia. She either tries to draw the shot and beat Karen's back one, or she does have two seconds if she opts to... Smack the ball by the looks of it. Karen's just calling her to draw the shot. Mm. She does have best back. She was to put the ball onto the jack as well. I mean, if she can draw uh, that bowl of uh, Kira's off, uh, she could sit for three. Yeah, she's she's got to commit to one or the other here. Uh, yeah. If she was yeah. to drive, she was better off playing it with that ball. Well, start to turn B. Oh, it's got a great line. Has it got the legs? Oh, unfortunate. Yep. Just a yard of pace. Yeah, uh, Patricia, I just saw your comment there. Why are these ladies playing 63 ends? Because uh, uh, th three rinks of 21. Oh, 
Well, I know what I would be playing if I was Bolivia. Might not be what she plays, though. I think a, a drive, doesn't matter, backhand or forehand, take the bowl out. She'd be pretty yep. stiff to get the front one and Karen's bowl. Looks like she could be lining up for this. Yeah. 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 Hands a bit sweaty. She's just getting it ready. Yeah. Looks like on the mat she's... Uh, yeah. Looks like it's a drive. Bowls up nice and high in the pre-shot routine. She's going for it. She's in the area. Oh, great bowl B. Oh, she got it clean as a whistle. What a shot that is from Bolivia. Well Merrick. done. So that's Cheryl's bowl shot. And it looks like its um, second shot would be um, a Karen Goldsworthy. That's a brilliant shot from Bolivia. Yeah, well it wasn't, done. wasn't super easy to get it out as clean as a whistle. No. Just looking at the angles and how close the bowl was to the jack, but she's managed to do it, and what a shot that is. Interesting to see what Jessie plays here. Looks like she's lining up on the forehand, just trying to add a yard on her last for the shot. Just coming around there, underneath that bowl there of uh, of Di Cunning. Oh, just oh. needed to catch oh. it a bit thicker. Great effort from Jessie. So it'll be another two to Broadbeach. Two to Broady, and you can say thank you very much there for uh, Bolivia. That was a top shot to, yeah, to, to take it out clean. Got it away well. Yeah. Just all about what you're confident in playing. Because if she hit it a lot of firm in the middle, it would have come straight up. Um, there would have been a different result there, but she just took it out. Great, great bowl. Yeah, there was plenty of reward in that shot. I mean, if she gets the bowl onto the jack and it somehow manages up in the ditch, then she was going to be scoring anyway. Mm. Martin Leck from Swansea in South Wales. Welcome aboard. A couple of big uh, leads now. On the other two rinks, Chloe Stewart's jumped out to a 10-4 over Julie Keegan after nine, and Kelsey Cottrell stormed ahead a little bit against Lindsay yeah, Clark over there, 11-4. Still plenty of ends to go. Just losing its weight somewhat. Good grass, but... Uh... This is why leading is such a vital role in a team. Oh, that's it's right. It's so yeah. important to, to get off to a good start and have two bowls in the head. Robbie would know all about that. He's put a few bowls next to a jack in his lifetime. that to a second and a third. <laughs> yeah. Robbie just made a comment there. He says that the lead's there to uh, to make the numbers. Oh, the, the lead dictates whether you win or lose, whereas the skip dictates by how many you win or lose. And the other two are there just to make up the numbers. Yeah. No, I won't. I won't tell anyone, Robbie. Not at all, mate. Makes me feel a bit better for how ordinary I played today. <laughs> Makes me just feel like I was there to make up the numbers. Oh, good bowl here. Yeah, Can good I shot stop? From Serena. Yeah, well done, Serena. Commonwealth Games, Paris silver medalist. Yes, just back from Birmingham. Amazing experience for Serena, I know. Mm -hmm. Having spoken to her before she went over, she was just so excited to get out there and, and play. And she certainly did our country proud. Oh, yeah. Yep. As they all did. Brenda just a touch tired here. She might get away with it by turning that up. And, uh, 
I listened with interest to uh, uh, Barry Lester talking about his experience of uh, during the closing ceremony. Yeah, that was a... I know, living with Barry at home, that was a very special moment for him and yeah, something yeah. he'll never forget. Um, a great honour, obviously. To oh, yeah. He, he said he was told by... Um, uh, yeah. Patria Thomas, who was the chef chief de Michon over there, and... Uh, he said he pulled, started bawling, yeah. <laughs> and tears rolling out of his eyes. They've been very close to home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Across there, uh, uh, Brenda. All right, Karen, bring it up now. She's going to duck the head also. Uh, Be a bit breezy at up uh, their face there. Yeah, a couple of loose bowls here, but it, it is to be expected with the conditions. Still a nice shot on for Kira Burke just to find the funnel here on the forehand. She's under that pink bowl, she draws the shot. Oh, Chloe Stewart, hand up in the air, <laughs> she's played a bomb next door. Not sure how many she's made, but Kira's oh, that's this going well. to push. Uh, yep, that's going to push uh, Cheryl's bowl in. Brilliant. Oh, no, it's not Di Cunnington's. Brilliant speed bowl. control there. Scott, Ooh, start we'll wait on this to trail it. She's just mm. hanging wide. Looks as though up in the top left corner there that the the jack markers on the bank. So Chloe might have sunk the jack there and put Julie under a bit of pressure here. Hmm. I can see it just next to the number, just on the left of the number six. Uh. Kira just needs to hang. She's getting enough breeze to hang. Yeah, oh, through. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Apologise there. I don't think she's real happy with it. No. Just didn't no. send it. So Chloe's made a bit of a number there. I'm not entirely sure what it was. We'll get that for you in a second. But another another increase in the lead there. Chloe's sort of keeping the minute at the moment. Yes, and certainly good bowls. And, uh, Nick, uh, Sean has asked who you played for before you came to Brody. Who did you play uh, for? I was at Tweed Heads Bowls Club playing for the Ospreys. I was there for about close to 18 months, I reckon. Oh, okay, yep. Year to 18 months. Oh, start to underneath. You want the underneath. How much run has oh, she got here? Has it got the legs Should coming? Should be enough to get second. It's a mighty attempt oh. from Bolivia. 
Yeah, I don't think she's made it there. Still a good chance here for Jess to add. Just got to turn either of Kira's, but wow, she's well under her line. No. She doesn't like it. No. Looked to the heavens just then and said, what have I done? She had good weight for the shot, just pulled her line a bit. It is tricky with, with the wind today. I mm. you know myself, I do the same thing. You, you get on the mat and sometimes you're not entirely sure which way the wind's blowing. It's that swirly and you try to fight it, but the, you just got to put your bowl down on, on a good line and, you know, there's nothing you can do about it once it's out of your hand. That's right. Once you've, once you've tossed it. Just got to put it down on a sensible line that you... Uh, you think's the right one. Oh, thanks, Glenn, for uh, 200 stars. Mind the people out there who uh, uh, send your stars. Thank you, because that goes towards we make a little bit of money out of those stars and we put it all together into uh, the broadcast, well, the, the association, the Gold Coast Tweed, and uh, we put it towards some uh, good ideas, such as the last one was a wheelchair for parabols, and uh, I believe whilst I was away overseas recently, they've ordered another one, and uh, the things they do when the treasurer is away... Nick, you are a a strong bow, mate. <laughs> he never forgets for some reason. Why do you sound surprised? <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, good boy, Nugget. Oh, great bowl next door there. Who delivered that? Looks like it was uh, Emma Boyd. Emma Boyd, was it? Yeah. Hugged yeah. the jack around the corner. Alice Van Eden, good morning from sunny South Africa. I'm not too sure whether I should talk to you at all after what you did to the Wallabies last night, uh, you Springboks, 24-8. Mind you, we, uh, we didn't play well at all. What's it? Oh, I don't know what the All Blacks were. Who did they play? Argentina. I don't know. What, Argentina got up? <laughs> Sorry, Robbie. <laughs> oh, that's going to get blown across. Yeah, that got smashed at the last minute there. Mm. Good speed. It counts yeah. at the moment. Yeah, yeah you've got... Uh, um, a dice bowl and, and that last one of Brenda's that just came up. So Serena holding a line? No, she's not. She's going across too. Oh, Waito, she's guarding that board with her life. Yeah, <laughs> Broadie. That's the Division X, isn't it? 32-27 uh, Broadbeach over Paradise Point Mermaid mixed team. Uh, composite team. Uh, she's doing a great job out there. It's yeah. a long day standing around flipping a scoreboard. Especially on a day like today. Yeah. Very uncomfortable.
after about three ends of our game this morning, I turned to Richo. I said I can already feel the wind burn coming on my horses. <laughs> Crazy out there. Good second shot from Karen. Oh, Olivia's just said that there's a five that's happened somewhere. It looks like Kelsey Cottrell. Yeah, I think it was Kelsey. Kelsey's rink have scored a five. Oh. Good shot from Kira. Great weight control. She's found her speed. So there's... Uh, there's uh, well, that's the shot. Maybe the second shot too, that uh, that one of Kira's. Robbie, can you check the score on the scoreboard out there for B and Jesse's game? Um, uh, good effort from Karen. Just a touch tight. Right idea. 7-8. No, yeah. Yep. Yep. 8-7 Broad Beach, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Kerry. Um, yeah, you know, just Kerry uh, mentioned there that uh, what she thought the score would be, so uh, we thought we'd check it. Oh, well, you're having a sleep, weren't you? <laughs> oh, lucky I put that peg in. Jess needs to get another ball in the head here. Bolivia may opt to try and rip the two balls out. Uh, probably. That win now is coming from the clubhouse directly down the ring, down the green. Oh, it's all over the shot. And now it's, because it's getting into our corner there and lifting our... Uh, So if this keeps up, we'll have some good sky vision shortly. Jess needs to beat that red ball. Doesn't want to catch yeah. the edge of it. Oh, well. Bolivia's got two options again. Play the hard shot and try and find the right line, or she... She can go the, the firm weight and try and flick the inside edge of the white one and take the pink out at the same time. She's got the next two, potentially even three. Well, yeah, she's got the, uh, the probably three bowls there, the uh, the two of uh, of Karen's, the stripy bowl there, the white and black, plus um, the harder shot. Serena's bowl. Uh, she's going to turn in. No. Last one whipped away, and she's caught Straighten. high. But there we go. And unlucky. So one and a measure there. I... Looks like Kira's bowls in for two. Could be wrong. Yeah, probably the, uh, the Serena's. Oh, no. No, the white bowl there of Kira's. Well, in two it is. Two to Tweed. Two to Tweed. A couple of good shots there from Di Cunnington and Kira Burke. Uh, Sean, who did he play today? Uh, Barry Lester, didn't he? He did, yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he had a win, as did the whole Broad Beach contingent. They, uh, I don't think they finished their ends because uh, it was the, the too far of a margin there to, to, to recoup. With three ends to go, they needed 14 or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. 18 difference overall was there. Oh, I could eight. Yeah. Pleasure, Gavin. Uh, morning from Cape Town. I love Cape Town. Well, more in particular, I like The Butchery, uh, a restaurant over the, the far side of Cape Town. 
but it did take you nine years to win a rugby game in Australia. But you don't have to keep winning now that you've done one. Well, boys, it's been a pleasure. I've got right, a couple you've of got things to, to yeah, do. Yes, certainly. Got our Calcutta on tonight. So oh, that's right, yeah. Yep. Better no, that's fine, mate. Thank you out. very, very much for your help. Thank you for having me. Yeah, if you see uh, uh, Damo walking by, um, let him know that he's, he can pop up here. But look, mate, all the best. No all the best with the fiver side, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, yeah, thank you very no much for your commentary. Thanks, boys. Good evening, mate. See you, pal. Hi, Lukey Day. Long time since I've uh, seen you. Last time I saw you was back in May here at um, at the state championships uh, when last time I was broadcasting here. You were sitting there by my side and, uh, and then I was worried sick about you because I ended up with COVID and I knew you'd spent the whole Friday sitting beside me. And, uh, a bit of a panic. Yeah, it's a few clouds coming out here now, but that wind is just... It's changed direction. It's coming straight up from the clubhouse, but it's cutting into our... Uh, it's cutting into our uh, the corner of our uh, little area here and uh, and really lifting up the, uh, the, uh, the covers. Okay, yeah. Uh, Brenda Thompson uh, putting her bowl up. Uh, just wants to get under that bowl of Serena's. Cutting across. Is she going to get a straightener off this? No, just running out. Just outside. So it looks like it's two uh, shots there to, uh, to Brody with Cheryl and uh, Serena's bowls on the right-hand side. Uh, it's showering at Coolangatta. Christine, please don't tell us that. <laughs> we don't need to know that. Uh, This is a good bowl. Is it turning sufficiently? Oh, bad luck there, Kira. Bad luck. Well, Christine, I hope it is showering and cooling out and it's heading south because I don't want it up here. It's beautiful. It's sun shining up here. Yes, Roger, the blood of snow does start shortly. Are we making room in our cupboard or will the situation be as per normal? Well, we don't unlock that cupboard to put the blood of snow in or dust it down until such time as we do hold the cup. Uh, otherwise, it's a waste of someone's time. <laughs> in, number one, trying to find the key to the cupboard. And number two, having to find the duster. But one of these days, mate, one of these days... <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, says Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. And uh, again, a big shout out to Harcourts Coastal. Uh, there, Emma Jeffries from Harcourts uh, at Coastal. Uh, Janelle. Uh, Janelle Harm from Harmony Lawyers at, uh, over at Mudra Bar there. And, uh, and also to uh, Golden Crest Manor's over 50s residential resort lifestyle living at its best, goldencrestmanors.com. And they're the main sponsors for the Gold Coast Tweed District Ladies Bowls Division 1 Pennant Grand Final. And... Uh, I can certainly vouch for uh, Janelle over there at uh, Harmony Lawyers. She's uh, uh, my clients had used her, and a couple of clients have have used her, and uh, 
She's exceptional. Well, that looks like uh, that's Kira's bowl sitting in there with... Uh, Is it going to turn? I don't think it's going to turn in time, B. Oh, she's got another one in the armory down there. Yes, Jimmy C. Oz still does play uh, Union, mate. And very well, might I add. Uh, just come and watch the under-12 Surface Paradise team any day. You, what a top little team. Oh, turning in. She doesn't want to pump, promote that. Okay, so looking at the head there, I'd say that the white bowl sitting at about two o'clock holds shot. Um, but... Uh, I think B would like to uh, just draw around those uh, uh, two black bowls, of, or blacky blue bowls. Of, oh, underneath. It's got to hold the line. Hold your head up. No. So two to Brody. So that's one, which was uh, Serena's bowl. Two it is to Brody. Yep. Oh, there's the radar. Uh, now, where are we? We're at, uh, there's Miami, Southport. Yeah, in the... Yeah, it seems to break up and... Uh, so we're just going to uh, say no and also a little prayer at the same time that it's not going to rain here at, uh, at Broadbeach. Not only do we bring you bowls, we bring you weather reports. And uh, I think we might start a current affairs bureau <laughs> on the side there, Robbie. We know everything. Uh, oh, great bowl. Great bowl there from Cheryl. Yeah, thanks, Roger. Yep. It's going to be a big duster. Come on, Di, around you come. This is a great bowl if it's got the legs on it. Uh, just pulling up. Yeah, Bolivia's saying you'll get around that. And, uh, maybe she's Gone a fraction wide. Oh no, starting to turn, but uh, whether she's got the legs is the other matter. No, unfortunate. Good effort. Stay under. Oh, die. Yeah, good position there. Yeah, good call by B. Uh, either side of the uh, of uh, Dice Bowl. Probably, want, uh, I would think she'd probably want to finish underneath that and uh, play on. Uh, but even if she gets around that, she can still sit the uh, the bowl of uh, of Cheryl. Uh, just a wait. Uh, 
Yeah, it's going to be a difficult one to draw off, uh, but probably this is the better hand. Hold your head up. Okie doke. So if things go black and you can't hear anything, it's because Robbie's just left me by myself in the commentary box with all this equipment. So we never know what's going to happen. I promised him I wouldn't touch anything. Brenda's bell sitting up, but no... See what she was trying to do there to uh, either roll the, the bowl of, uh, of Cheryl out uh, on the right-hand side. So you're hitting on the right-hand side as you look at it on screen to run it out and hopefully sit there. But uh, Karen's probably much the same. She'd like to cut under that bowl of dies. Has she got the legs to do so? No, but she's going to be in, a, in the road there. Hi, Brian. Welcome aboard, right? All right, Kira. Having another try, similar to her previous shot is there. No, just running past. Oh, she got another one there, so that was... Uh, And uh, she's running past somewhat. Try the same thing, Kira. I think that uh, hitting the side of the bowl, the, the right hand side as you look at it. running past again so Kelsey's run out to a 18-4 lead over Linny Linny Clark and Julie Keegan is down 15-5 uh, uh, to Chloe Stewart so that makes them interesting uh, so what have we got 15 24 28 33 28 correct Robbie up the right hand side there after 36 ends so still in it, they're uh, just over uh, over halfway. Brian watching from Kalula Cove, lovely place. Ah, oh, good bowl, B. Yeah, well done. Oh, great. Well done, Jess. Now, I can't see because Robbie has left and I, uh, and I must have killed the end there, throwing the, the bowls up. Uh, here he comes. Just as I was about to uh, press the buttons and get everything lined up, he's walked back in. Thankfully. 
<laughs> it's getting in there, got a bit of sun coming in on that equipment there, you need to Big one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fortunately, I'm going to have to do this. I don't want to because it's going to flop around there. Oh, there you go. Hell yeah. It's tough. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell Who's that, Mitch? Oh no, he had to go and uh, organise something for the uh, Calcutta. the Calcutta tonight. We'll get a better uh, rubbish. Just hanging up some uh, curtains here to. Uh, yeah, that'd be great, Paulin. Yeah, we thought um, oh, Damien was going to come back. We've lost him. Damien McGee was uh, here before, and uh, we've lost him now. That's it. And welcome aboard, Pauline Barton. Good to have you here. Yeah, good to be here. I'm glad you walked past. <laughs> yeah, I'll just uh, pop down to watch the other um, game, actually, because Paradise... Um, oh, the mixed, the composite side. Yeah, yep. the Saturday team, so... I came down to support the girls. This is a cracking game, though, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <clears throat> Kelsey's just shot away a little bit, and that's what's um, keeping the Broadbeach team... Uh, the margin in front there, but uh, Chloe's doing the same. Chloe's thing. Chloe's doing the same yeah. on the other end, so that evens that up, and then you've got uh, B and Jesse here at ten nine after twelve ends. Yeah, I was watching a bit of this on the live stream on the um, at home before I left, and on the way down here, it's a great game between these two. Oh yeah. Oh, just popped it over there to uh, to Cheryl's bowl. So. Uh, Yeah, good call. Good call. Serena, uh, just come up and uh, bounce off uh, uh, off Dye's bowl, uh, the uh, pink one there, and, uh, and and come across trail the jack. It'd be great. It all depends which way the wind blows just as oh, it gets to the right. end too, right? And so you can't tell. You can't tell. I've been yep. just out chatting to a couple of the ladies there. <laughs> Everyone's, your guess is as good as mine as they have a bit of a go, so... And she only just missed that, really, like... Oh, right, yeah. A, a, an inch over, a little bit less blow from the wind, and it would have been a perfect shot, so... Weight was beautiful. Kobe showed me it. One of the... But...
Well, I love that when the skip goes to the head and said, this is what I wanted you guys to play and shows them how to play it. <laughs> what a great bowl. Mm -hmm. And she's just down to Jessie's one bowl. But it's sitting, it's a really tough shot to get. Um, and she could risk spinning the kitty the wrong way if she plays a bit of weight into it and potentially go. I think that's Kira Burke's bowl. Yeah, that Kira Burke, over and there. you've also got um, Brenda Thompson's bowl Brenda over Thompson's there. Brenda Thompson's yeah. bowl. So, yep, that's. And sometimes. Yeah, I saw her. Yeah, she's coming. So she's coming on her forehand. Should take them what, to ten all now. Yep. So uh, uh, there would be something wrong with the Wi-Fi, Johnny, if we use Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yeah, we, the problem is we've had to close up inside here and uh, because of the wind it's uh, causing havoc out there. And it's been good all day, right up until this, uh, this moment. Mad up and playing kind of close to dead minimum in the middle of the green, so mm. no no advantage kind of I suppose to getting on the tee, which you'd expect players of this level. She didn't want to play to the tee and risk being potted. Maybe. That's right. 
Yeah, well, she's brought the man up a uh, good metre or so, and uh, she's nowhere near the end, uh, near the tee. And uh, this would be the shortest end that the girls have played here, actually. It, uh, they've been playing medium to long uh, most of the day. It's a great bowl. But, uh, you know, with with Tweed down, um, uh, where are we on this rink? Um, only down by one, but overall, uh, probably look at the big board and saying, OK, we've, let's change things up a little bit and see what we can come up with to... Uh, yeah, Di wasn't happy with that. She slapped her hands, not happy with her own efforts mm. with the change of length. Um but, yeah, what can happen, I think, you know, with the shorter ends in these sort of kind of conditions, you can get more bowls in the head. You've got more options mm. for the skips yep. to, to, to make a difference. So I don't mind it myself in these conditions. Pretty hard for anyone to be that accurate on tee to tee on a day like today. Oh, too right, yeah. This is a great a bowl. Beautiful bowl. Yeah. And about now, this is when maybe the Tweed team are thinking maybe this wasn't the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never know. Yeah. <laughs> but by the same token, easier to get at. So. That's Selena. Got tap it on the nose, maybe. Give it a little tap. Oh, she's just going to run past oh, there. Oh, what a great effort, though. Well done. Beautiful weight for that shot. <laughs> Don't come in here, you get a job. Yeah. <laughs> Even if he's just walking past. Hey. That's right. <laughs> okay. Hey, Brenda, you're going to get around again. Oh, this oh. is going to a gr oh, wow. unlucky. Such good weight, too. Yeah. Like just that little yeah. slight difference. It wasn't far away. So we're not expecting Brian Marshall to call down and help us pack up this afternoon, considering uh, his Division 5 just... Uh, Won the pennant. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, well, congratulations to them. Oh, he's going home, was he? Oh, okay. Serena missed the line. Yeah. Serena missed the line with that one. We'd go and set up Helensvale tonight, except they've got no lights on the bottom green, so that's a good excuse not to. That's what I'm saying, Robbie, hey? Yep. Good. Thank you. I'm glad you agree with me. We'll do it bright and early in the morning, mate. Mm, hope for a better day. Yeah, well, yeah. the wind doesn't really affect that much on number one green at, uh, at Helens Vale. It does uh, certainly on number three at the top green when it whistles down through the, uh, the park there past the memorial. But they don't, it doesn't really affect that much. But uh, the problem we've got is they're playing uh, um, east-west in the morning and north-south in the afternoon. So we've got to set up... Move around. Well, we've got to set up two sets of cables. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Comes Karen. She's, oh, she's just missed the line. Beautiful weight though. Jesse gave Jesse gave Kira Burke two options in. Um, one to play under and maybe look to tap the ball on the side or to play around and match up Serena's bowl. She opted for the round and she's doing that again. If she adjusts just slightly, she can draw oh, another good shot Kira, here. Kira, in you come, Kira. Uh, there you go. Oh, Beautiful great bowl. Yeah. yeah. What a lovely oh, girl, too. She probably landed all right where it sat down, but it has just shown the kitty a little bit to the Broad Beach team, so. Yeah. And they've got a couple of catches out the back. Or well, one catcher, sorry. Karen's bowl at the back. Little Kira made the uh, semi final of the Golden Nugget. Oh, the yeah. Lady section. Gee, she played well, too. And the indoor bowls, there you go. Karen's mm. just taken one of those bowls out, so they're still down to one. Yeah, Tools was saying she was so nervous before the event because it's the first time in there with the, and she said with the names of the people that were down there, <laughs> and she ends up uh, in the semi final, which was fantastic. And uh, during the final, the ladies' final, uh, Tools went and got her and brought her on, and we did some live streaming with her. Mm -hmm. And what a pleasant girl, a lovely girl. 
She sure is. And, well, she's had some big tournaments lately, hasn't she? I watched mm. her a bit in the indoor. Um, she did extremely well there. And the zone champion of champion singles, that's right. So she's had a big month and a half of bowls, Kira. Uh, similar to uh, Kelsey. Now there's a, <laughs> that was a month and a half of... Uh, oh, Kelsey and Aaron, I mean. Oh, uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Well, they created history with, um, they, they are now um, indoor champion, Australian Open, and Golden Nugget all in the one year. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. I'm just watching this. Jessie's bowled an absolutely beautiful bowl to draw mm -hmm. second shot there. But it is increased the target for B to hit. There is a bit of a split now on for B. And she's not going to be far away. No. Oh, yes. Oh, what well done. Hold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that's uh, Cheryl's got. Uh, uh, well, actually, it looks it could. Oh no, that's Brenda's bowl there. So that's it's two bowls there to uh, to Cheryl. Mm. Here it is yeah. again, ladies and gentlemen. So she's opted the forehand, which is the bang bang out, and One, would two. have worked on the backhand as a split yeah. two, but she might have got the kitty if she'd gone the backhand. So yeah, absolutely great choice, beautiful, beautifully executed. And my boy just come in and hand just the bowl and give her a bit of encouragement. You can do it. Oh, we'll start to turn. Yeah, just a no. little bit overweight, I think. Yeah. And now B's got an opportunity to make this three well yeah three, three. two uh, yeah. yeah if she can just draw a shot not move the kitty she moves the kitty a little bit even back towards karen's bowl that's sitting behind i can't really tell how far away that is but yeah. a little bit of kitty movement might make it four that's true yeah uh, she picks it up under or, or around Di Cunnington's bowl to get this well, it'll probably start outside, but it'll probably finish up inside. It's the way the wind's been well, blowing. She has to bowl oh. under to get the kitty. Yeah. Yep. And she's uh, going to just get Di's bowl, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, she was going for the under. Around it, she probably would have missed it. So it's a good effort. Ah, uh, Mel, uh, it is I who is doing commentary. Pauline Barton just happened to be walking past, and I seconded her, and... and I've been on since 6 o'clock this morning when Robbie <laughs> rang me to get me out of bed. Uh, Bruce Kirk. It's funny, um, everywhere I go these days, oh, you're that lady that does the commentary. That's what I get. Where I go. <laughs> I'm either Kobe's mum or the lady that does the commentary now. <laughs> yeah. I'm still well, better than I am. <laughs> I'm, you're the commentary guy or cupcake. <laughs> uh, never mind. Ooh, not not a good start by either. Seven, it looks like it's 18-7, Robbie. So Julie Keegan's team's picked up a couple, so... Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it looks like they're going yep, to give them back there. Oh, 
Well, both Di and uh, Cheryl aren't happy with uh, their start. Oh, this is a better bowl yeah. here from Di. Di's got it this uh, time. Yeah, well done. You can see in the trees in the background just how wild <laughs> that wind just stepped up another notch here. <laughs> Swelled around the back, I think, and... The dies bowl just sitting a little bit behind the kitty. Nice little shelf if Serena can get to it. Yeah, is she going to run on there if Serena? No, just falling a little bit short. Great line. Really well done. Okay. Well, Bordy just shot out. Uh, they got a 10, 10 shot lead now. They uh, it was running between four and five. Uh, the, the difference and uh, until about two ends ago and she started to jump out and that's a lot to do with Kelsey. Kelsey jumped out to 23-4. Um, that's a big lead. Big effort from Brenda. That's, yeah. She's been running beautiful bowls. Well, Serena had good line. She just needs a little bit extra weight there to, yeah, uh, to bring it around. Absolutely. She uh, uh, looks like. Yo, the stay out, stay out. Oh, she might tap her own. Not quite. Still, balls in the head. Yes. Balls in the head on a day like today. Mm. It's terrific. Mm. Brenda asks if she can change hands, and uh, yes, Jess said by all means. Nothing for her to come in on there on the other hand. Uh, it's closed it up a little bit. Yeah. She's missed the line and the weight, it looks like, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. That's okay. More ends to come. Let's see. So who's got who's Kelsey got? She's got Val Jackson. Adele Pershaus, Bronwyn Stevens, and Kelsey. Uh, oh, great bowl. Well done. And that leaves two shots to Serena. And, uh, yeah, well done. And uh, what have we got? Uh, Carol Fair, Gail Crompton, Claire Turley, and Lindsay Clark in Lindsay's side. So, mm, fair team. <laughs> fair team, but, uh, geez, Kelsey's, uh, they've jumped away there and... Uh, they have, and you know, from what I could see, bowls. You know, plenty of bowls in the head though on the ring. Very competitive game. Yeah. Sometimes the score just doesn't tell you what how good the quality of the game is. So. Oh, that's right. Yep. So, I missed that um, bowl coming in. So we've obviously Kira Burke's changed it, changed it up, and knocked. Out Di Cunnington's bowl. Yes, so yep. we've got Tweed heads now. I'd say Tweed, probably Tweed, holding Tweed. that shot with Kira, possibly. I, I, hard very to hard say. to tell on these angles. Uh, yeah, Serena's, Serena's bowl. Yeah, yeah, Serena's bowls. There are, yep. Got it. I think it's probably three. And Robbie does it all with mirrors. Oh, no, sorry. Serena's playing for uh, Broadbeach. Just yeah. so I had a brain, yeah, right. a brain fade for a second. <laughs> Senior moment, yeah. <laughs> oh, we had them all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know why I thought she was playing for Tweed. Go and I haven't because I am senior. For a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Robbie has to put up with me and Brian, so that's why he has senior moments. Oh, excuse, I'm just getting old.
here is Oh, strong. Sean. 